Hey guys, it's your girl Victoria, back to you with another review for Caught in the Act, Unfaithful Season 2, Episode 19, called Unfortunately, She's My Wife. Why is it unfortunate, Sal? Huh? Okay, so we're getting introduced to a homegirl named Jennifer, okay? She's in a relationship with a homeboy named Sal. They've been together for 18 years. They had uh, children outside of their relationship. You know, she had one, he had one, and then they came together and had three together. So in total, they have five. And uh, they do social media content together, so they're business partners and whatnot. And I guess in the course of their relationship, Jennifer emotionally cheated on Sal, and then he in turn um, physically, sexually cheated on her with someone else. And, you know, I guess when he did cheat on her, he was just like, you know, how does that feel? And, you know, I guess Tammy trying to come in saying, well, you know, emotionally cheating is deeper than sexually cheating. Look, Tammy, please, let's not even let's not even go there for what's more worse cheating than cheating is cheating. OK, like, I, I don't let, let's. Yes, I guess some can, you know, some cheating can be considered more worse. Like sex, having sex with someone else can be considered worse than kissing someone else. But at the end of the day. You cheated. I don't care what t you cheated. What are we talking about? Anyway, I mean, in her word, in her thoughts is deeper. But for me, I'm just like, it don't matter if you're emotionally cheating, physically cheating. You're cheating. The, the fuck? Okay. Um, I'm not trying to cuss up in here. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> tell me. Anyway, so, you know, they came back together working things out. But it seems like lately... It seems like he's cheating again because, you know, since they do social media content together, they do share social media accounts. And, you know, he be talking to girls on the social media accounts, like on Instagram or whatnot. One day she'll go look at it. And then when she try to go look at it again, it's deleted. The conversation is deleted. And it looks like when he be, he be going on his little business trips or whatever, he be gone for like two, three days. And anything else? The only other last thing was his phone is supposedly always dead. So it's just like, what are you doing? You're probably cheating again. And, you know, obviously, if you're on the show and we've seen this whole episode, then yes, yes, he was cheating again. Now, what she said, this is a thing that bothers me, okay? Because the last thing she said before we went to, to investigation series of the episode, right? She said, because Tammy asked, you know, if we find out that he is cheating, what are you going to do? Homegirl said, if he's cheating again, she's done and she's leaving. Because now she got a higher self-esteem, blah, blah, blah. And in my head, I already knew. Because I'm like, y'all been together for 18 years. Together, y'all have like five kids, blended family. Y'all do business together. You know, social media, all that. I'm like, y'all got probably got a house together, all that stuff. So, you, you sure you're going to leave? Because it just, for me personally, it's like, if you don't know what you're going to do, just admit and say, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I could continue on this relationship knowing that he's cheating on me. But these women, I don't know. I don't remember if any of the men said it, but it is, I, I can just, I can vividly remember the females be talking about, oh, if I find out he's cheating, that's it. We're done. We're, we're finito. But then come to, when, by the end of the episode, when we get to the three months later update, y'all still together. So to me, it's just like, listen, if you don't know if you're going to stay with him, just be honest, say you don't know if you're going to stay with him. But don't be talking about these big talk, like you about to leave him. You ain't, you know, you ain't going to be disrespected, blah, 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 blah. And then you going to still stay with homeboy. Like, I get it. It's easier to stay than to leave. But at the same time, it's just like, listen, be honest with yourself in all moments of talking about the situation because... You, you do all this for nothing. Like, they they be dogging you for nothing, talking about you and all that stuff, and you still stay with homeboy. He probably going to do it again. So it's just like, what was the point of coming on here? Like, why, why are you wasting our time and Tammy's time? I mean, at the end of the day, Tammy's still getting the check, you know. We don't get anything. You know? we, we just watch for free. But uh, still, it's like, you wasting our time if you still going to stay with homeboy after all that. Okay. Anyway. We get to the investigation part of the episode, okay? Kevin is the PI for this episode. And day one, we see Sal leaving him and Jen's house. He gets a ride share to go to a rental place. Goes to the rental place, gets a rental car, goes to a different house. Has the key or the code to get into the house. Then afterwards, he gets a ride share to go back to his and Jen's house. End of day one. Suspicious activity, clearly, right? So day two, he gets another ride share to go to uh, the rental unit. And he gets a rental ride. 
and then goes to the bus station where he picks up a female and the female at the bus station, you know, they all hugging and kissing and whatnot. I'm like, oh, okay, he cheating because, you know, Loki with the little ride shares to get to a rental, rental to a house and stuff. I, you know, in my head, I'm like, oh, it don't seem like he cheating. It seems like he doing some illegal activity. Okay, that's where my mind went to. I'm like, this sounds sound, this sound like some illegal activity going on because it seemed like, you know, of course, you're not trying to do business where you have pleasure. You're not trying to have a business at your family's house. You're not trying to use your car to go to, like, the trap house or something. You know, I'm, my mind was going more so there. I'm like, oh, this is a different type of episode. No, it's the same, same type of bullshit that's been going on all the other episodes we've been watching. So, you know. It, it would have just been nice. I mean, not nice that he doing illegal stuff, but it would have been nice to see something different than the usual bullshit that we be seeing on this damn show. But okay, whatever he cheating. What, what else is new? Okay, I didn't think that at first, but, you know, it's been confirmed that, you know, homeboy cheating because, you know, he hugging up all, all up on homegirl and whatnot and uh, they kissing and all that stuff, right? So after that, they go to the what I thought was the trap house, and they spend the night, okay? Um, so then on day three, uh, looks like they're still at the house, spending the whole day at the house. They didn't leave the house, nothing. You got Kev saying he need to get more footage, so he goes to be a peeping Tom. You know, he's an investigator, I understand. Peeping Tom. Um, so he goes to the window with a camera, and we see the windows. I, like, I don't understand. Like, it was nighttime at this point. I'm like, why is y'all windows open? Knowing y'all be doing stuff. I mean, maybe some people get adrenaline rush when they be doing that stuff with their windows open. But for me, it's just like, I, I don't be thinking about who can see me type of stuff, like, for sexual pleasure outside like i'd be thinking like there's murderers out there let me close they don't need to be seen what's in my house okay i'll do it during the day because you can't really see in the house during the day at night time the window blinds are closed curtains are pulled in you ain't seeing through my the slits of the no mm. no absolutely not but you know for them they they you know sal is a moon blood so you know i'm not surprised you know what i'm saying but you know homegirl is black But that's not her house. Uh, so, yeah, they were, he was, he had no shirt on. She was in some lingerie and whatnot, and, you know, they was fooling around, whatnot. you know, how couples do when they in the mood, all that stuff. So, okay, whatever. Uh, but clearly, it's like, this is more confirmation that, you know, he cheating, even though, technically, all the footage you need was him picking up homegirl from the ride share and them kissing, because that was all the footage I would need, like, oh, you, you cheating. But, you know, they're trying to get all this stuff, right? All right, anyway, so... Uh, they do what they do. So he got that footage for that night. That was day three. Okay. So day four, uh, they finally head out after having a whole sex capade for like over 24 hours inside the house. Okay. And they go to some rental property community thing, uh, leasing office. And then after they leave, we didn't see this footage when he was doing the investigation, but we saw the footage when she, uh, Jennifer was going over the footage with Tammy and Kevin. So, after they left the leasing office, I guess they were happy. You see homegirl. Her name is Katana, by the way. She was all twerking on him. Excuse me. When they was leaving the leasing office, he was carrying her out of the leasing office. So, she was twerking on him. They was happy, dancing, all that stuff. Right? Okay, cool. Later that night, or maybe right from the leasing office, they go to a restaurant. Excuse me. And they sit and talk about moving forward in their relationship, even having kids and whatnot. And they kiss. Okay. We got the footage we need, right? But then we get to Jennifer meeting up with Tammy and Kevin to go over the footage. And, of course, Jen is hurt. She does get emotional. She cries. And, you know, Tammy offers a team up or take down. So Jennifer chooses the team up. Okay, we're moving right along. Because I'll, I'll have more to say later on when we get to confrontation, all that stuff, right? Okay, so we get to the team up. They pull up to the house that Sal has been staying at with Katana. And, excuse me. Sorry, don't know why I'm gassy. Uh, but then I did have a Celsius. And I'm not talking about the juice one. Okay, so when they pull up to the house, Jen gets out of the van, goes up to the door. Uh, the girl comes out. Jen explains like, oh, you know, I'm Sal's wife. Who are you? And, of course, Katana gets offended because she didn't know. And, you know, taking shots at Jennifer. Jennifer gets offended and gets physical with Katana. And, of course, you know, it turns into a fight. So once Tammy and uh, Kev come out to try to break it up, even though security was already breaking it up, because, you know, they're not going to do much because security is always, always there. Um, Tammy brings uh, Katana inside. 
But Katana said she don't want to talk to Jennifer, but then she runs out of the house through the back door, I guess to try to run through the front door to uh, Jen. So you got Tammy trying to run to the front door while Katana's trying to jump this damn fence. But like she can't really jump the fence because it goes to commercial for dramatic effect. Goes from commercial, for, comes back from a uh, commercial for dramatic effect. Katana's still on the damn fence, okay? She can't even hop the fence. And I'm like, girl, what would you try? Girl, this is not no movie. Even though sometimes I feel like this is a movie. This is not no movie. If you can't jump the fence, don't try to jump the fence. Okay, you know, like, you just you just made yourself look like a fool. Um, you was going to be able to get to her eventually, um, even though the security was going to stop. Like, you you try to run through the back door to get to her. Like, they couldn't just run through the front door and tell her to come inside while you trying to, and you trying to hop the fence. Like, it would have been... These people make no sense to me, Lord. Okay, it would have been better if you just opened the door... Instead of trying to hop the fence, the like I, the way I'm looking at this camera like, right now, is the same way I would have been looking at. Like I wouldn't even have flinched, bro. Like I would have just been standing like this. I would have walked out. If I was standing, I would have walked outside, stood like this, arms crossed, and with this facial expression as I watched Katana try to jump the fence. And when she finally couldn't jump the fence and got back on the ground, Outer looked at her and said, "Are you done? Can we can we have a cordial conversation now?" No. When you're ready, let me know. So after that, um, <laughs> Tammy tries to have a one-on-one -on -one with Katana, right? And then we have Ken. He's talking with um, Jennifer because she tries to bring um, both of them inside to talk, but Katana says she's not trying to talk to Jennifer. So that's when she goes to. Uh, Tammy goes to the dining room with Katana to talk. All right. So pretty much Kev is talking with Jennifer in the living room. And, you know, he's trying to tell Jen that, you know, she's very upset about what's been going on. So Jen said, you know, she understands she's mad, but she should be more mad because she's the wife and she has the kids with Sal. <laughs> so sorry. Pause. Actually, pause. I apologize. Stephanie knows sucks. Anyway, Jennifer. I understand you feel like because you're the wife, you're more justified in being upset. But if Katana genuinely did not know anything about you and Sal and just always from based from what she was told about you, then you can't downplay her being upset because technically you're the wife. And you, like if both of you guys felt like you was in uh, not gen well, like exclusive relationship with Sal and, you know, she got played. She's justified for being upset the way she's upset because, like, she feels like a fool because technically she's the mistress, but she didn't even realize she was the mistress. You know what I'm saying? So, like, let's not downplay her being upset because you're the wife been with him longer. No, she generally thought she was in a relationship with this guy. They went to a leasing office together. You know, they even talked about having kids. He didn't say, oh, no, we're not having kids when she brought up having kids, all that stuff. He made her feel like she was the only one. So, in that case, if you found out, like, oh, I'm not the only one, and I'm not even the more important one. I'm literally the side piece, the mistress, and I didn't even know that. No, that's 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 pretty. That's gonna hit someone pretty hard. So uh, I didn't like that, the fact that Jen did that. Like, yes, yeah, she's justified being upset too, um, because of she's with the guy and whatnot. But at the same time, it's just like, I mean, you cheat on homeboy first. So you pause, pause. So you know, I do feel bad for Katana. Um, when we, Katana was talking with Tammy, she lets us know that she's been with Sal for a year. They met on Instagram and, uh, Tammy text, uh, tells Katana to text Sal to come over. You know, let's just get all this out of the way. Okay, cool. So 30 minutes later, Sal pulls up. Tammy's already waiting for him at the front door to t uh, tell him all that's been going on, to catch him up to speed before they walk in the front door. So, uh, once they walk in the front door, Jen says she needs a second outside. So she goes outside with Kevin. Tammy... And has Sal sit down and Katana come so they could talk. So Sal said Jen is not his baby mama because technically that's all he's been telling Katana that Jen was his baby mama and that he only had three kids, not five. Like the only had three kids. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. I apologize. I lied to y'all. I'm so sorry. So I guess Jen had two kids prior to Sal. Sal had one kid prior to her. So they had two kids together once they came together. Doesn't matter. Still five kids. Anyway, so Sal said he only got three kids. You know, his he only talked about his biological kids, not the two kids that 
uh, Jin had prior to him. And he explains to Katana that, you know, Jen is not just his baby mama. You know, he said, unfortunately, that's his wife. Now, this is the title of this episode. And for me, I'm just kind of like, why are you saying unfortunately? And this is why I'm looking at Jen's side where it's like, oh, you took this nigga back. But this nigga said, unfortunately, you his wife. Now, I know you 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 didn't see this episode until now, but it's just like, how you feel taking this nigga back? And he said, you're he's unfor- it's unfortunate that you're his wife. That would have caused for divorce for me all, automatically because it's like, if, if it's unfortunate that I'm your wife, then we we don't need to be together. I, trust me, I, I got other places to go. Like, I don't need to be here. Like, that's that's my thing. It's like, if you don't want me, let me know. I will be out in a millisecond. Like, it's not, I will not hesitate to leave. Like, th- my thing is, if you're willing to work this out, I'm willing to work this out. Let's make it work. Let's do what we got to do. But it's just like, I'm not going to be putting all this effort and you you talking to, to other people, talking about I'm just your baby mama. And then you want to also talk to other people and try to say, oh, now that you got caught, like, oh, you know, unfortunately, I'm your ba- your wife. Homeboy, if that's the way you feel, I don't need to be your wife. But, you know, Jen's going to stick, stick beside him, so, you know. That's not my problem. That's hers. Anyway, so Katana pretty much says that, you know, she's done and she gets her things and she leaves. Like, we don't hear from Katana for the rest of the episode. And I'm just like, Katana, look, I commend you for standing 10 toes down. Because that's what everybody's saying now. Standing 10 toes down. I'm just being like, look, I'm done. I'm not talking to no camera no more. She literally gets her stuff and we see her walking down the street. I'm like, so you're not going to get no ride share or anything. And it's like, that's all you brought. To, to his house. Okay, whatever. She 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 over it, and I, you know, I I'm mad at her for that. I, I commend her for being like, look, you don't effed up, so that's that. Cause you got Jen gonna stick stick beside him, even though he done called her an unfortunate wife. So you know, here we are. So when she leaves, Sal's still talking with Tammy, and he said that Katana was just a side piece, and he didn't think he would get caught, and, you know, he loves his wife, and, you know, he's not gonna leave his wife for Katana, and I'm just like, sir, you really ain't shit, bro, like, you just, like, you are just one of those F boys, and it's just like, I wanna feel bad for Jen, but I really can't, because it's like, Jen, you've been with this man for 18 years, this, 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 Homeboy cheated on you multiple times. And probably still going to cheat. And just try to be more discreet about it. Because you see he was doing all these uh, suspicious activities that make me think he's doing something illegal. When it's just like, nah, bro, you're just cheating. You're just trying to cover your steps to make it look like you're not cheating. But it's like, bro, you're cheating. And, you know, no, it don't matter what. Jen's probably going to stick with him because they got five kids together. And, you know, they have a business together. So she don't want to have to try to split all that stuff that's making her money and, you know, feeding the kids at at the end of the day. Uh, But at the same time, it's just like, is it worth it to stay with someone you can't even trust? That literally only stopped doing it because he got caught, not because he necessarily wanted to. And, you know, you know, considered you, uh, unfortunately, his wife. I mean, I I don't know. It just, it couldn't be me. But, um... They have Jen come back in with Kev so they can sit down and talk with Sal. And he admits that he made a fake Instagram account uh, to uh, talk to Katana. Uh, But it didn't mean anything. He was never in love with her. He never loved her. And, you know, she was just a side piece. And, you know, he effed up. You know, it was wrong and it was a mistake. And I'm just like... On a normal hand, I'd be like, that doesn't just that doesn't justify anything. The fact that she was a side piece, not you still you still cheated that. Like he just thinks like, oh, just saying it, you know, it was a mistake. It's gonna solve anything. No, it's it's really not. But because she took him back, it's like I can't really ride for Jen and saying like, nah, bro, that you can't just say that and that's gonna be good because clearly that's all he said and that was good. So. I don't, I, I, there's nothing else for me to say in regards to that, but, um, Jen asked her, she was like, where's your ring at? You know, he said it was in his pocket and I'm just like, you know what, whatever. Like, obviously in the moment, I'm kind of just like, yeah, where your ring at? But seeing what happened at the end, I'm just like, we don't care where his ring at. You don't care where his ring at. Cause he could wear, he could stop wearing his ring or not wear his ring. It don't matter. You still going to be with him, Jen. So like, what are we doing here? So after that, uh, 
Sal asks, you know, are they done yet? And I'm just like, bro, this nigga, this, he not gonna stop cheating. I hope, Jen, I hope you realize that. But she don't. Um, so Tammy said no and asked how many times have they cheated on each other. So Jen said one. It goes to commercial for dramatic effect. Comes back from commercial for dramatic effect. And Sal said twice. And everybody was just like, come on, Sal, be for real. So then he says three times. And I'm just like, I don't believe it was three times. I believe it was more than three times. But, you know, we're not going to talk about that, are we? No. Because we want to facade and fake it. Because if you was already lying about two, I know you damn for sure lying about three. So, he, like I said, he probably still cheating, you know, he probably, he talking to multiple women at the same time, you know, and, you know, we just didn't meet the other ones. That's all it is. So after that, uh, he explains that with Jen, it's just always just business and never intimacy. So that's why he was getting it from someone else. And Jen was like, well, you never give me intimacy either. Cause he was talking about like, oh, you don't be saying like, can you rub my back and whatnot? And I'm just like... But if you want intimacy from that person, from your significant other, do you initiate any intimacy or you just want them to do all the work? Anyway, Jen said he's not doing nothing either. And it's just like, Jen, are you okay with no intimacy? Or are you just saying that just because of the fact that he's saying there's no int intimacy from your side? And if that's the case that, you know, you want intimacy too with him, are you initiating anything? Like, I don't understand. Like, I don't understand why y'all can't, people can't communicate what. <sighs> it don't make sense to me. How you can't communicate with someone you're with that you used to have sex with on a regular, that you're legally binded together, that y'all have kids together, that y'all live together, that y'all have businesses together, all that stuff. Like, I, like if y'all can communicate about business, like, why can't y'all communicate about y'all relationship? Like, it, it would never make no sense to me. Like, I always say this, like, in all shows I feel like that I review communication is key. So instead of trying to communicate and work it out with the person that you fell in love with to begin with, you feel like it's best to go outside of your relationship to, okay. That y'all relationship, not mine, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just like, y'all will never make any sense to me that y'all thought that was a justifiable way to fix your problem when obviously, you know, it's not fixing your problem. He don't care anyway, because he asked if they was done yet. So that told me all I need to know. That told me, like, even if y'all stay together, you still gonna find ways to cheat. You're just gonna be more, you're just gonna find better ways to hide it. That's, that's all it meant. But anyway, um, Jen, no, Tammy asked Jen if she was done. Jen says she needs to uh, figure it out uh, and what she's gonna do and whatnot. And when she said that, I said, so the beginning of the episode when he was talking about like if you find out he's cheating you're done now it turned into oh she got to figure out what she's gonna do that told me already all I need to know that told me like oh, okay you saying that now but you just gonna keep you he's, he's still gonna be there you still gonna stay with him because if you could go that drastically from oh you done to like you don't know what you're you gonna stay with him that that already you gonna stay with him so Tammy probably was over it too so she said they need to figure out what they're gonna do and work on it Tammy and can't leave they just ab abruptly left. And, you know, they had the little com uh, confessionals of uh, Sal and uh, what her name is, Jen. I don't care. I didn't care because I already knew what the three-month update was going to be. So, I'm just like, who who cares what, what they got to say? So, we get to three months later. We get to the update, right? Okay. And guess what? They still together. Okay. She said, oh, he got he kicked out the house and stuff, but he's slowly coming back. And we see him coming into the camera. I'm like, just stop lying to us. He probably never left the house. He probably just went on the couch for like two, three days. And he came back. Like, girl, please. Girl, please. So, uh, Jen said that they're working on things. And, you know, no one's spoken to Katana. He's not sp speaking to anybody. He's staying faithful. And I'm just like, if you say so. I don't believe none of that shit. But he's staying faithful. Jen gonna stick beside. Listen, that's y'all relationship. That's what y'all gonna do by all means. I, I wish the best for y'all. I wish the best for y'all children. All that stuff. But at the same time, here's my thing. If you're going to stick beside him anyway, I'm not saying anything wrong with sticking beside your man. If that's what you want to do, that's fine. But don't be trying to lie to us, trying to make it seem like you're going to be buck and you're going to be like, I'm done if he cheats. When it clearly shows you, you're not going to leave if he cheats. And he cheated multiple times on your ass that you didn't even know about. And he's still going to do it. He even said he didn't, you know, he didn't think he was going to get caught. So if he didn't get caught, he would still be doing it. And he said, it's unfortunate you're his wife. You didn't know about that part yet, but it's like, 
I mean, if that's what you want to do, I'm not going to, you know, y'all, y'all have like two, almost two decades in this thing, you know? So I'm not, I'm not even close to that. You know what I'm saying? So like, I, I, I can't talk for anyone who's been, but at the same time, it's just like, everybody outside looking in can see the red flags, but you're going to stick with the red flags. Whatever, I mean, it don't even feel like y'all doing anything intimate or having sex or anything. So, it's like, is this going to drive you to emotionally cheat again? Once again, this is y'all relationship. You know, we just watching from what we see on the TV and commenting on it and whatnot. But from what I've seen, this, this is a facade of a relationship. But that's y'all relationship. It ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm done with this review. Um, I'm done watching y'all. You know, I hope I don't see y'all again. Best of luck to y'all. And, you know, all I'm going to say, Sal, you better be wearing condoms when you be having sex with these females. That's not your wife. Even though it's unfortunate that your wife is your wife. Whatever. Uh, that was an... I'm feeling that because I, I, I don't have the patience for these people. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like at least once, please subscribe if you didn't laugh. Look, I know it was, you know, BS of an episode, so... If you didn't laugh, I'm, I'm not, I'm not mad at it, you know, but come back next week, okay? Hopefully I can make you laugh then. You know, I'm always going to say that, you know, you keep giving me a chance until you laugh and then you can subscribe, okay? Comment down below what you thought about this episode. Uh, be easy, breezy, lemon squeezy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.